Y'all feel me. Y'all not. No, but no, not that. Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Missy. This is my husband Akeem. And today we're actually doing a video. We're headed into Restoration Hardware. And we're pretty much here because we are both window shopping and shopping for I mean you guys know that we are back into getting the house together um, so there are still you know some major areas of the home that really need some attention to like our mm -hmm. dining room I think our dining room only has a chandelier in there at this point in time I moved some of the art pieces to the channel to, to the chandelier I moved some of the artwork to the dining room but that was just to kind of get it out of the living room until we figure out what we want to do with it but there's literally nothing in our dining room at all. Yeah, we haven't got the dining space area. I mean, because once it's not we a rush. no, because once we realized we weren't gonna have what we wanted in time for the holiday season last year, mm -hmm. it got pushed to the back burner because the formal dining room will be used definitely twice a year. And then if we decide to like host like a dinner party or something like that, or Missy have her girls over and then I'm cooking or whatever the case may be, maybe a couple times of those a year. But other than that. Like once we missed the deadline last year, it was like, oh, we'll worry about that later. But the supply chains are starting to take longer again as far as getting furniture in. So we want to get the dining room. At least started. Yeah. yeah at least started. At and least the major parts, the chair, table, and then, you know, other little stuff we plan on doing. That's, um, if you stay tuned, you'll, you'll see what's coming up as far as the dining room. But outside of that, I know you said you wanted to do bedroom is this a bedroom stuff you want to look at yeah definitely want to look at bedroom stuff like i said we're getting the kids bedrooms together they all got new beds um uh within the last couple of years and then zuri actually got a new bed when we moved into the house because she was transitioning from a toddler bed but um i'm ready to go ahead and get our room together i know a lot of you guys have asked like when do we get a room tour it's really nothing special in the room like what yeah. you guys saw <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, as far as, like, what y'all saw in the home tour is pretty much what the room still looks like. It's still the same bed, you know, vanity and different things like that. Um, we're kind of going back and forth about getting a new bed for ourselves. Uh, our bed is still in great condition, actually, but we're thinking of just kind of either getting... Well, we know we need new dressers, for sure. Um, but we're no, we don't know... Yeah, but what we don't know... Uh, so, two things. One, we don't know the exact exact route that we want to go like for me i know i want to go like creams whites very serene um but at, at the same time like kind of like a transition from the rest of the house uh but maybe not a lot of black however I, she gonna come back to black though like yeah i mean there's gonna be black in it black is my favorite color y'all know that and i just feel like you can't go wrong with it y'all every room in the house missy be like what if we just painted black <laughs> the laundry room the bathroom the dining room our bedroom at one point um, you were on board with every single room, <laughs> every, though. Every room, every single black, room we were on board room with. Black. But um, because I'm like go bold, you know, go bold. But um, and I have a vision. I have a vision. But um, but what two things for sure? I do know I want a specific size for my nightstand. I think you agree for the most of it too. Like we want something a little a bit larger. longer. Yeah, um, something with a little bit more width um for our nightstands and then we want it at a certain height uh because our bed is relatively high thanks to this guy i have to jump in the bed um but i so i want it relatively high um in like a, a reachable distance if that makes any sense so i want to check restoration hardware for that for sure um but i do have some beds in mind that i would like to upgrade to um, I was just trying to get this guy on board with a couple of them. Some we agreed on. Some he's like, mm, I don't know. I was reading the text. What you talking about? The bed. The bed that I sent you. Um, I like the bed. I, I just don't like that, that that one part. Anyway, no, but so I I may pop that in, um, just to kind of show you guys the the bed that I have in mind, and then I'll probably pop in like my mood board, um. Because I have a ton of them, I just never really show you guys. So I might pop those in just for something different. To show you guys like the vibe and the feelings that I'm going for. For, you know, the bedroom and different areas of the house. And then lastly, um, uh, patio. You know, you got you guys know that we're, we're both getting our patio together for the summer. And then I also want to, you know, invest in um, getting the, I guess, the... 
long standing pieces for when we get the pool because the one thing that I look most forward to as far as the pool is the different entertaining spots. Look who's up. So my original plan for the pool area, I'm sorry, for the patio area was to have the sitting area over by the TV and then like a little dining area behind that. Um, that was the original plan for the patio. But now that we have the pool plans, you guys saw that area. Plus, we have the dining room eating area outside the kitchen, which also has a sitting area inside of it, which also has a they counter height none of that. bar area. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. <laughs> but then on top of that, we got the sunning, the sunbed area, and then we have the fire pit. So it is a lot of entertaining space, which also requires a lot of patio furniture. So, you know, we kind of want to be very strategic in what we buy so we don't have to replace it again. We did get um, gifted patio furniture last spring from my in-laws okay um from my in-laws and it works great you know no issues with it but you know we have to, at the same time we want to make sure it's, it's long standing yes, yes it and it's consistent so we do have zuri with us if you heard anybody snoring <laughs> it was you he's snoring a lot of time what <laughs> you gonna throw me under the bus it, well you were just snoring just now yeah that was you and it's on camera well, Sleep in your, in your room. I hear it snoring. Okay. You're not going to get on video no more with me. <laughs> but so, anyway. Me and Zuri are twinsies today. We got our um, headbands, our hoop earrings, and our bun. We got our little handbag purses. And what else do we have, babe? Um, our sunglasses. So, uh, I kind of just got dressed for the day and she wanted to be so she decided that she wanted a bun and everything like that too so i'm going to embrace this a little bit more because it's not often that kids want to dress like their parents um and still be girly and still be kids so we are actually getting ready to head in did now. we even say where we were at oh i don't know but if and just in case we did it we're at restoration hardware i did say that we're sure. at restoration hardware and um you know they very picky about filming in here so and you also have this thing yes i told them about the handbags so um, we're gonna try to sneak some footage in there as far as what we're looking for just to kind of give you an idea and then there's a potty barn across the street if you want to shoot over there yeah i don't i don't think they have like a huge issue with filming i just think that they don't they everybody usually frowns upon the cameras like the uh vlogging cameras video cameras production cameras for whatever reason so i'm pretty sure if we get footage with our phones it wouldn't be an issue but yeah, so we'll kind of see you guys in there, um, show you what we're looking at, you know, commentary, different things like that. And then um, if we pop out into any other places, you know, we'll touch back in with you guys. So we'll see you in there. You know, they got swivel chairs almost anywhere, so it's just... So we're thinking about these chairs either for our bedroom or for the living room. Because Missy's always wanted swivel chairs um, for the living room. And um, the color kind of matches the Pottery Barn couch that we have already. And I mean, I said in the other one over there, it's extremely comfortable. How much is it? Ours is probably what, three grand? Possibly. <laughs> 25. It's, it's under 30. Uh, 21, if you remember, 28 if you're not. That's not bad. Because the ones we were looking at at um, Crate and Barrel? Mm hmm. Or like 16? Yeah. If you remember which ones I'm talking about. Yeah, I remember. I and then something that we noticed that they did here is they just have, um, they have pipes ran. Because I don't like canopy beds. But, you know, obviously this is a, a nice little vibe with the hanging shears. So, we are thinking about and we talked about possibly doing something similar and doing it in our bedroom. It's just our ceilings aren't as tall. I think ours are 11 feet, 10 feet. At the normal ceiling height, so. But we can still pull up the same effect. Especially if we can figure out a way to pull them up and then just pull them down when we want them. Yeah. So. You cold? No. I told you you should've worn more clothes. Now you look crazy. Now you look like, uh. Let's see, what was that, uh. No, the uh, little rascals when they're trying to rob the bank. Oh, <laughs> they were trying to rob the bank. They're trying to get, to a, get loan. a loan. Yeah, yeah it's definitely not the same thing. Oh, my bad. That's what I 
I like this bed too, but. I actually like the bed too. We were looking at the bed before we first moved in. I just don't want to. I don't want the footboard anymore. The footboard doesn't bother me. It was the slay footboard that we had that comes out too far. Because I be. The footboard doesn't bother me. Let me just say. No, that. what was you about to say? The reason why we was all excited about the footboard. You was excited. We bought the water. No, you were excited. We were excited. I was about excited the why you were excited, but you were but excited. When we got the big mattresses, it was kind of null and void at that point. But I, I do like this. To be honest, with you. like I, I don't mind having a footboard. How much is this one? So so far, like, like everything in this room, I like. I like the size of the the nightstands. The nice stand sizes are perfect. Well, they got an RH well, keys up there. Well, we a different house because the other one, we already got it. Oh, uh, maybe the prices are up here. But I can do something where, um, I can do something where you can get a canopy without us having a move. Chandelier, sconce. This all the accessory prices. Member or non member? For non member, 43. For member, 32.25. 32? Mm hmm. Then they have different, you know, like the leather, different collections, and the mattresses. Okay. And then, you know, just pretty much like the couch, you pick your material and everything like that, also. So. Okay. Something to consider for sure. So I like some elements because we're actually doing something similar where we're going to have the mirror behind, but we have uh, a hanging pendant light from the ceiling instead of the uh, lamp. That's a little too gaudy for me. What about you? I mean, obviously, when you add in a big old chandelier and a bunch of uh, um, mirrors, absolutely. But could you take a couple aspects from it and put it into the room? Because we still want like a nice elevated, you know, now, not gaudy, not where it's just like heavily like this. Obviously, you don't need Now, I do like, I'm sorry, I mean, but I do like their, uh, the bedding with the piping. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. I want to say we actually have that in our model. I think, I think in my model, we actually have that bed. I think, I think this is that bed, not the bed set, no, not the bed, bed but the bed, uh, or linen. Similar. I don't think it's, um, yeah, I had to look it up. However, I think the bed might be too low for... I don't like this bed, no. But, yeah. Give me a second. But, yeah, I, don't, I don't like this. I, if I had to pick, it would definitely be that first room as far as end tables. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you got another kitchen. As far as dining room chairs, like, how do you feel about these? Like, would you want these as your your main ones, and then like two different ones, or do you do these as your two different ones? I think it depends um, because you got these with arms on them, so obviously these are like your main chairs. Um, but I'm not opposed to like going with the uh, you know regular arm chairs and then basic uh, armless chairs. Mm -hmm. However. Um, I know you were like, we'll probably only use it a handful of times, but I'm like, if you think about it, like, when we used to have a dining room table at the old house, the kids always, like, let's all sit at the table and have dinner together. I mean, we have two dining spaces, mm -hmm. now, so I mean, we'll see. But we were talking about a small table in the kitchen. I understand. So it's like an extra, because I can see the table don't split. Yeah, you could probably a leaf, you could make it longer. Interesting. 
No, so, I definitely want something that expands for sure. Yeah. Expands or what if it's just what if it just comes standard at a certain height? I would, I would like it depends. If the standard height is just enough. Yes. If the standard height is it's either a standard height that is enough length. to fit the space. I mean, sorry, a standard length that's enough to fit, fit the space, I'm okay with that. But if it's like, you really like this table, we're okay with it being like a six-seater, but it expands to an eight, I would prefer that. Okay. And I don't know if we mentioned, so the table that we're looking at doing, whichever one, it's going to, like, if it holds eight, which preferably it should, it's like six chairs, normal, and then two chairs either at the ends, you know, maybe something a little bit more upscale. Yeah, like I did. Like, this one seats a lot. I didn't know it had an expansion on the side, too. Because ideally, I would like something that sits six, six to eight people, right? Ideally. But let's say we started hosting functions. My family came down here. Your family came down here. If at any point in time, we could take that table from the now formal dining room to the living room and expand that space, or like a dinner party, whatever the case may be, because it's bigger in the living room, I would prefer to do that also. I want that ability to do that, if that makes any sense. You Can, know how I talking am. Talking about to move? Yeah. You lost me. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, we will. Because I'm lost. Y'all feel me. Y'all not. No, but no, not that I don't under, like or just like what you said. I really don't understand what you said. So let's say, let's say we get the table, right? Uh-huh. And it fits in the space perfectly, right? Mm-hmm. But it is, sits, what, eight? Six, seven, eight. So it sits eight, right? Yep. But then with the extension, it sits another... Two. Okay. So now you got a ten-person table. But in the dining room, it doesn't fit ten people. Mm -hmm. Right? And I have a big family, you have a big family. So let's say both families came down. If we could, if we got the ten-feet table, like, all oh, in this space, it doesn't fit ten people. Mm -hmm. Right? But it fits in the space with the eight. We can move it to the, to the living room. Move the couch maybe to the dining room, whatever, when we're entertaining or however that may go. And now we got that 10 person table. So I'm, what I'm saying is, if this particular Are you talking table, like a temporary thing? Yeah, yeah. But temporary. you know, these tables ain't like light. No. These, no, ain't, these tables ain't made to move around. Often, no. At, who gonna move it? You, my Lift brothers. that up. You and my Just lift it up. Just look at the corner. I do it, but I'm not gonna move No, it. just try. I'm gonna see if you can do it. Look at you about to bust a gasket. Well, you asked me to lift it, and I lifted it. <laughs> and it wasn't even that hard if it was, like, four of us. Yeah. I, I understand. But I didn't have to strain. But I'd rather put two, three folding tables together and put, put a cloth over yeah, it. Yeah, see, that's the, see. And call see, it a day. Because you get a. No, we're not arguing. You can't even tell once the tablecloth is over it. She trying to take Why this table see? that's made for a dining I room. This table. I said, I uh, or any table ahead. that's made for a dining room. And move yeah, the whole and thing be showing if I had my to the living room but look, to accommodate some folks. Nah, I said we leave it in the living room and then just get some in, some some folding tables and put a tablecloth over it. You wouldn't even tell. Yeah. We may even have to do that because you may need two tables next to each other. But what I'm saying is, if we if this if it was an eight person table mm -hmm. and it expands to ten, it's not like you're wasting your money saying, oh, it expands to ten. There's no point in getting it. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. You got to be up here with me. You're not up here with can me. Can we go? Martin said you got to be here. We're not bringing you with us next time. All you've been doing is complain. Every single time she can leave. Yeah. Do you like these chairs or are they too, they, they approach too modern? You said you do like these, though? Yeah, I like them. Well, what color are they giving? Are they giving gray? Yeah, they're gray. Okay, that's what I thought. They look gray to me, too. I, I don't think I want gray, though. No, I'm, I'm, I'm can... speaking style-wise, not color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got fabrics. Yeah. Like the bed or it's too low? This girl. My concern, more so than anything, is like, you know, the stepping on the bed. Don't have a basket. Don't have to get us a stick or something there. Mm-hmm. I wish we could live here, but it's just a store. Exactly. Yeah. You sound like every other house, I know it's real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ariel. Oh dear. Ariel. One of us buying her a drink. See, the whole chandelier and the bare room thing is cool, but. You gotta keep your air on all day. Not in Texas, baby. All day and night. I do like that mirror, though. Because it get, it get, in the summertime, it gets to a point where running the air will get too cool. And it's like you need the room temperature be just perfect, and then you can just keep, you know keep it with the fan. Unless you get a Dyson. Will you put a chandelier in the bathroom? Where? Uh, so there's a spot like right outside of the um, bathroom. Yeah, I don't really care about. It. As long as it don't look dumb, I don't really care. Cause I, I thought this one might be too wide. That one might be just enough size, but I'm not like, you would have to, cause you want to be able, to, you want to make sure you can open up the. Um, shower door uh -huh. without hitting it but there's absolutely a perfect spot for it it's a uh, what can I do? it's a can light just outside of the uh, shower door and just be just before you go to the uh it's between the shower door and the tub gotcha yeah mom i need help and help with the jacket that room is nice but it's not too much i think we could pull out of here no nah, no nah, it's, it's a little too uh light and airy yeah. If it was like a black on white on black on white room, this room would be dope. So I really like this though. Like I like things like this. I like adding these type of elements to a home. You know, like I think they these built-in columns I think are great. I feel like obviously these aren't things that you're gonna find in your everyday home. And when you go custom, like the whole point of going custom is to be able to just do whatever you I mean when you buy a house, you wanna be able to do whatever you want. But the whole point of going custom is Mom, like just this one, making your house different. So like I'm all into stuff like like sconces. Like, when we were at the design center, I was like, look, look I want sconces in the dining room. I want sconces on each side of the fireplace. I want sconces coming out of the bedroom. I want pendant lights all over the house. I want two pendant lights in the dining room. I want pendant lights on each side of the uh, nightstand in the master bedroom. I want two pendant lights instead of three above the island. I want a pendant light above the um, kitchen table, like, or sconces on the back wall, like that's I'm I'm just like you know let's let's make it a museum, you know. But um, but like those are the type of things that I love as far as like the design elements. And put it where. And put it where. We'll see. Maybe I look for a little one. I like it. I feel like when you add gold and velvet and textures, like it really. It just come out of the dining room table. It's actually nice. <laughs> Mom, let's tell everyone. Mom, let's tell everyone. Alright. Let's tell everyone. Shoot. But I am looking for a new dining room chandelier, as well as a new chandelier for the rotunda. So, definitely want to bring in some big plants. Because, y'all, with... I mean, we don't have, like, 20-foot ceilings throughout the entire house. But when you have, like, 19 feet or 19-foot ceilings, feet, foot, whatever, you know, you definitely want to elongate the house. In my personal opinion, I'm no interior design um, professional. But, like, for what I want to look... what I, The look I want for my house, I, I just want it to look, like, grand. You know, big... Um, bold, luxurious, uh, relaxing, um, welcoming. So, obviously, I don't want it to look like a huge art museum or anything like that because we have kids and you want people to be comfortable in your home, but...
So then the other day, I was like, do I want to go light outside or do I want to go black? <laughs> Nothing's permanent until we buy it. Plus, I don't feel like you can go wrong either way. I do like these uh, potted plants. What? Yeah. See, this one's smaller than the other one. You think so? Yeah. I do like it. Well, you got to make sure it's not an umbrella thing in there. Okay, for this. Yeah, it's not. But yeah, I would do this inside. Because, I mean, it's not like they don't give you a plug. Let me sit. But like, I like these, like these big topiary plants. But you guys need like what? For the front of the house. The height and everything, the height, the width. How much are these? Or, well, no, I wouldn't do the palm trees. Yeah. Well, I don't know about these. Yeah. What do they feel like? No, they're real. That's funny. <laughs> but, um, what I'll say on this side, I don't like, I like the contrast. Mm -hmm. Like, this is nice. It's like, I like it, but I don't like it for, uh, I would do more something like this. Uh-huh. I like that style, but, but I'm not opposed to it. It just, it just seems like, on a hot day. Uh-huh. It would be, that makes sense. This would just grab a lot of heat. And, Dang, this is hard to tell, too. It's not like it's here. If you want to rest your arms, yeah. this is going to be hot, especially if you're talking about putting it in a pool. But, you know, around the deck of the pool, there's no cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, as far as the contrast to black and white, I like that. Ow! I just hit the finger that Uno ran over. But I like these chairs. Yeah, they're low though. Like I said, the hard part is like the amount of entertainment spaces we were gonna have to have. Yeah, so. Yeah. I think they're too low. Like for you, yeah. But it also depends on where you put them. But so I just the battery's about to die. But I just asked the salesperson. So I don't know if you guys know, but there's another restoration hardware coming to the Houston area. It's actually going over by the Buffalo Bayou. I was reading about it um, a while ago, and I just asked one of the salespeople about it. And he said they are coming. They are bringing a Restoration Hardware restaurant, but it won't be for like maybe another hour, hour and a half. It may not be for another year and a half to possibly two years, just depending on when they break ground. Um, and he said they may keep this warehouse, the sales room also, but it is another Restoration Hardware coming with a restaurant to Houston so that's dope that's something to look forward to for sure over doing the um egg chairs no nah, I like the fact that the egg chairs are covered egg chairs oh my god these are kind of comfortable, comfortable? Um, they just they just kind of kind of firm oh <laughs> it's not comfortable no but it's not they're not comfortable uh-huh I forgot it ran I gotta be careful yeah that's how that's what Zuri dealt with downstairs I do want some water fountains outside. Like I, I think I like. So originally I had wanted a like six person dining table, um, on the patio. But I think I want like a small round four person table on the patio with the sitting area for the TV. And then I think like the actual dining table that we were thinking about getting, I think it's gonna be just on the other side of the kitchen. If you haven't seen our pool video. Go check that out now so you can see our outdoor entertaining area y'all it is going to be everything so um it's been super windy out here in houston the last what three months easily the last three months if not more we just noticed it the last three months but i think it's always been that way i don't think i've ever noticed it to be super windy like that out here but that's just me so um we're definitely looking at fire pits that have the windshield uh because i still want a fire pit but definitely something with a windshield I wouldn't be opposed to putting like a little small fire pit underneath the uh, patio area though where the TV and everything is at. But like I'm excited because we have like a ton of entertaining space outside. So like I said, that is going to take a ton of outdoor decor. I like this. 
I like this but too. I like this more. This right here? Like you said though, it just depends on the area because you don't want it. Same thing, like if this was underneath the table area, I mean underneath the patio, and you had... Can you hold this real quick? Because of the space, you know, and you want to be able to watch the TV, you can put it right here, the TV's right there. This will obviously be up against the uh, house windows. That'll be back towards the uh, patio. Uh -huh. But I don't know, like you said before, if I'll put it directly in the sun. Unless we get... Oh, it can go under the uh, kitchen area also. Yeah. Because that's covered. But I like that too. I like I mean, this I one over here. I don't think you can go wrong with restoration hardware for sure. It's just, yeah, you, you can go, go light, wrong if you want to go broke. You can go light or you can go dark. So you know what the hard part, at least for me, the hard part with restoration hardware, the price? they have nice stuff, right? To, uh, but their stuff is nice and unique enough that you, like you can, they say all oh, you can find all these dupes and stuff, but a lot of times it don't be dupes. It's just like similar color, but they have a really good design style that you can't really find other places. And if you do find it in other places, it's like one thing and not a collection of uh, pieces that you could put together. So they kind of trap you that way. But this stuff is way overpriced. It's like extremely marked up. But they got the market corner. So you, if you want to, you got to pay to play. But I just hate being trapped like that. I hate not having options. Yeah, like, I saw some really good stuff at Target that I really, really like. Uh-huh. But the truth of the matter is, like, it's, it's not as thick and as well made as, you know, the stuff, you know, the, the RH stuff. So. It's the modernness of it. A lot of stuff you still has a lot of traditional elements, but you know they're gonna have a lot of straight lines, a lot of squared edges, a lot of square pieces, and you still find that traditional look with a lot of other places. Even some of the higher end places, you know, from high fashion homes to hey, pottery barns, CB2. I mean, any place that you go to get you know better quality materials, a lot of still are gonna have that traditional look. But when you go to RH. They have the look that's very popular right now, and you got to pay for it, so. But it's okay. You got it. Cool. You. Yeah, you got it. Ain't that right, Zuri? Yeah, let's speak that into existence. I got it. Ain't that right, Zuri? It's coming. Mommy got the money to get all this stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, but see? Not. But she always thinks she don't have any money when she buys stuff for her. And she tried to trick me that she can't buy money to buy toys. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get off people's stuff like that. So mom wants any So these are two fifty. The palm plant? plant? That with the with the plant or just no, the just planter. The planter. Well, I don't know. Can we go? It just says the planter. I'm not You gotta ask the old boy. I mean, for me mostly, like I know a couple things I want to go home and try to piece together. I do want to look at the other bed again to see how those nice beds work with that other bed. Um, but I do love coming here because it just kind of gets like my design, you know, mood going again. Because mm -hmm. like, like I said, when we first came out here, it was like, okay, we want to do this, 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 this. And then when you got in the house. And with everything that was going on, you know, it was just like, you kind of just went to your local places. But coming back out here is like, yeah, I definitely want to, you know, take it back up there for sure. Definitely want to continue with the luxurious uh, theme of the home. So, you know, we got some things in there now. May have to replace some things as we go, but definitely inspiration for sure. And this is more my speed. I like this style. I like this a lot. Like from the rug to, I probably don't like the table. Or the, the, but I do like it. I like the chairs and the couch. I couldn't care less about anything else. Right here, sir. So we just left Restoration Hardware, and now we are headed to Restoration Baby and Child. I'm trying to figure out which door to go in. I got it. To look for a couple things for Little Miss Lady, because she said she wanted. Look, she might lose it. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't want to come here. Party. This is right up her alley. Caesar, I told you they got the things in the ceiling. Here you go. Yeah, real China. Here you go. Here you go. I want this. Just a tea set? 
Yes. This? And look, it has wands. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> this bed is cute. It's a little small. Hello. So somebody got promised uh, no. a cupcake from Sprinkles. Alright, come over here. Let's take a picture about a cupcake ATM. I think I'm gonna get one. Pick a cupcake. What kind do you want? Let me see. Never mind. Just make a way to get some reflection. I can see a little bit. So which kind do you want? I can't see it. They have vanilla, chocolate. Sprinkle. Red velvet. Sprinkled. You want a sprinkled one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, none of that one. Um, give me a red velvet, I guess. Sugar free, regular? Not regular. Excuse me? It treats you. No, I didn't. Lero. Lero. You need to relax. What? Hey, can I help me get the phone? Alright, so now we're about to try to um pop into Williams and Sonoma. Just to see what they have. If there's anything worthwhile to get. If because there's anything for me to I, I promise you, it's nothing for you to play with. We're not buying your toys until your birthday. But My um, birthday it's less than thirty days. The one thing we need for sure is a toaster. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that, that's a whole. I'm about to get into it. Go ahead. So when we first moved down here, we first of all we sold our microwave because when we saw pictures of the house, if I don't know if we ever told y'all when we first moved to Houston, we don't make this a long story. Bro. We bought bought the house. We moved into the house site unseen. Our realtor, shout out to Sabrina, found the house house for us. So in the pictures, it had a toast uh, a microwave. So we sold our microwave, got down here. We had no microwave, no toaster. So we were like, well, we at least need a microwave. So I mean a toaster. Oh my god. I said we we at least needed a toaster. So I ran to Kroger, grabbed a little eleven dollar toaster for the time being. That was almost five years ago. So, we still have that same toaster. And me and Aiden have been complaining the last few weeks that the toaster was going out. And instead of him just saying, like, well, let's go replace it, you know. It's user error. Because I use it. I don't have no issues. I can toast bread. I can make the kids Pop-Tarts. Whatever else in the toaster, it come out fine for me. Bagels. They use it. It's burning. It burns. I put it on the, the setting, same setting and it burns. We don't adjust the settings or anything. It just keeps burning. And so. So, let me ask you this. If it worked for me. But when Missy over here uses it, it doesn't work. And when Aiden uses it, it doesn't work. But it always, always works for me. for me. That's not true. And it worked that, for Zuri. You know, it worked for you too, Zuri? Yeah. She doesn't even use it. Let me tell y'all why that's not Baby true. Baby girl, I never told a lie. So you don't remember a couple of weeks ago you had made toast and you ended up throwing it out? Because no, it got I hadn't put it in there too long. It Either way, it doesn't go... If it's that was user error. Like, okay, so that goes to show you that it's cheap. So then, the only reason why we kind of haven't replaced it is because the one I want is $400. But, is it 400 or 300 You got a ladybug on you, so I guess that's good luck over there. Oh, she good. Or he good. It's a ladybug. They're not all feminine, though. Anyway, because that was just, anyway. But the reason why I want it is it's, it's the touch screen. You know, you can visualize it. Does it, it have to be 400 No, it doesn't have to be 400 we, They put three things in a toaster. Pop-Tarts. Toast bread. It's not toast until you toast it, right? So you put yeah, bread in the bread. toaster, right? So bread, pop tarts, and bagels. Mm -hmm. That's it. Why in the hell would I pay? Now, if they want to sponsor, that's the only way I get it. I'm going to reach out to them, actually. Like, you know, look. 
see if that works out. But if it doesn't, I'm not paying three hundred, four hundred for a toaster. But anyway, long story short, we're about to walk in here to Williams and Sonoma to see if we can get one that um, satisfies them and it's you know user friendly because apparently there's you know, some user issues with the one we have. But I also have to say because you it cut me expensive. off. Um, it wasn't, I don't even know if it was that exact one, but the thing we wanted was one that could do more than one piece of toast. Well, more than two pieces of bread. Okay, a four say. slot. That's right. However, that was before you got the Blackstone. Because we, remember, we were like, man, it takes forever to, to, you know, toast bread. So we had one and one with at least four slots, especially for a family of seven. However, now that we got the Blackstone and we do a lot of toasting on there, it doesn't have to be three hundred dollars, but it can't be that eleven dollars. But you can get a, you can get a four it. slot toaster like, for like twenty bucks. Money. I don't want a twenty dollar one either. Why does it? Does I it, want a toaster oven, but I know no, we make don't. too much money just to be like, oh, just go get the cheapest. You want a one. toaster oven, the big old thing that's gonna sit on the counter. Yeah, the one that you. What are you gonna put in there? We talked about all the different. No, things what are you gonna put in there? there? What are, are you going Pizza, to put in there? Bagels. We have an oven Pizza, for that. Bagels. We have two built in wall ovens. Nobody wants to open up a whole, uh, turn on a whole oven for that. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure it's so much labor to tell Alexa to preheat the oven for you. Oh, my God. It's just but so much the labor. the entire house. It so heats up the entire house. So does the one on the uh, countertop. Child, not that much. And you know it. You yeah. talking about 400 degrees. 400 degrees. Okay. Y'all hear excuses. Y'all hear these excuses? Ugh. They're excuses. How about, how about, They're excuses. How about I make money, but I don't want to buy a toaster. Can I have the blue? Like, I don't. Ugh. Can anyway. I have the blue? Cheap is not cute on you. I'm frugal. I'm not cheap. Can I have that food? You can be cheap. But I, yeah, I told y'all Louis Vuitton down. Huh? But I, you know, money ain't a thing to her. And you got your what? Your, your Teddy Blake? And my LV shoes. And I told you Louis Vuitton down. You know what I got on? Adidas hat, Old Navy shirt. And Ladybug. Uh, Just because you spend more money on your The pants were a little expensive. We're not even about to get into that. These pants came from Nordstrom's. Oh. It's cute. I got these out of uh, Trunk Club. That's the ladybug. The ladybug on my shoulder. But anyway, we're about to go in here. I thought I bought you those pants. No, these are the ones that from... Um, so what did I know? You need to be the ladybug. And then my shoes, that don't matter. But, um... Here's I'm about to go in here. So, now, Williams and Sonoma is picky about recording, but we'll see if they allow us to do it. We'll I see. Ain't, that's all you. I ain't even about to mess with them on it. There's a lot of wants in here. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of wants in here. So, actually, sir, we don't have any stock, but if we order it, uh huh, you'll get it next week. On the 29th is what day? The 29th? That's tomorrow? What's the so day? Like the 27th. 26th. 26th. Yeah, 26. So that's today's Tuesday. You'll get it like Friday. Okay. Between Friday and cheap next Tuesday, something like between those two. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a cleaning tray because I see the handles. Mm -hmm. So th this and this are the same one, right? No, no they're different. different. Oh, because yeah. this one has a dial on the front. This one has a dial on the right. front. Right. Yeah, it's a different. Yeah, it's different. How much is this one? I don't even this know the price. This one is one seventy nine, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's different, different colors on this one, actually. You see, they're all different colors. Do you have any of them in stock? Any I colors in stock, one. or I'm all different. of them? Are... Yeah, we don't, we don't have any in stock in here. I think the only only thing I'm, I'm not. A, what? The dial. You don't like this? It's not that I don't like it. I just I wasn't it's sure how it worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then, so you just mm -hmm. so you pick the one that you want, and then the mm -hmm. the doneness of it. And then okay. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not supposed to that one yet. And as well, like I'm assuming you think it's too big and bulky. Nothing. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's, it's was way better than the one we got now. Orientation is some kind of weird, you think? Huh? Orientation is kind of weird, you think, right? No, no, no. no, what I'm saying is, if you need to see this side and this side, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think the only issue would be how ours is set up because everything is in that back corner. Um, let me no. just check to see if we have. I'm going to climb up there and see the poser. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, because it's like if I need to set it at the front, I'm going to have to turn it every single time. Let's say we put it on this side of the counter, it wouldn't be an issue. But because it's over here, it is. You know what I'm saying? I think so. So this is the one we were just talking about in the car from Revolution. Um, it's smart touch screen. There's a difference between this and this. I'm not sure, but 
This one's $3.99. This one's $3.49. Just for the toaster. Where you can get something like this for 100 bucks. Um, the Breville, the... The one on the left? Yes, the black and black. I want to hand it to you. Okay. Yes. So this one is... See, this one would be perfect for me. I'm good with this. But mm -hmm. it's the... The misses that I have yeah. to convince. And let me see... Did I, I, I repeat myself all day, but mm -hmm. my name's Judy. Whatever we don't have in stock, we'll get it for you at no cost shipping and we'll deliver it directly to your home and I'll check to see when we'll get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is, you're, you're part of part of your mind, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I have the car, but I don't have it on me. Is it? Can you yeah, look it up? Me, I okay. Can look it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know, so you don't need a Wilmington one, right there. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I got, I got, I think I did a couple store cards right when we closed in our home, and I'm like, oh, that's okay. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Did you on it? Um, a year ago, actually. Good man, right on time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we started scary. building the year before, and then skyrocketed. Right. So. Oh, we sold our home two and a half years ago. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you, and I live in an apartment. You all now my house dope. In South Texas. Oh man. Yeah, from two to four hundred. I feel I feel your pain. I understand. So um you you want me to check it just in just in case you decide on this one, let me check to see if we have any in stock and then not also okay. what it looks like. Okay. And then and then okay. also if you could check the the zwilling mm -hmm. in either the two or four slice. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my pad so I won't have to be doing it. Okay. Like that. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay. Lisa oh never mind. Okay, probably melted. <laughs> I hope not. Come on. Wait, the cupcakes are made out of frozen? No. Ice? He was just saying melted because of how hot it is. The icing may be melted. Hope not. Same. We appreciate y'all for shopping with us today at Williams and Sonoma and Restoration Hardware. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed our, you know, we, our inspiration video for the most of it. Um, it's not a one word, is it? No. Nah. Okay. I don't know how to do that anyway. All right, so we hope you guys enjoy, you know, our little shop with me. Uh, I know we didn't get too much from, we didn't get anything actually from Restoration Hardware, but we do have an idea of the things that we actually want just by looking and, um, she did tell us that a lot of things in the showroom were, uh, ready to be shipped for the most of it, so it's not going to be as much of a wait unless we go custom, and considering we went custom with the couch, uh, I think the only other things that we might go custom with would be if we were to get some chairs, just simply because we want them to kind of match the fabric that we have with our Pottery Barn couch. But as far as like the nightstands, I did see a set of nightstands I liked. Mm -hmm. So, but my only issue with the nightstands is we got to figure out a bed first. Like that's our biggest thing is just figuring out a bed. So we will keep you guys updated. Again, you know, we're getting ready to continue to get this house together, get the backyard together. We'll keep you guys updated on the pool. And uh, I guess we're getting ready to head home now. Yeah, we're about to go sit in this Houston traffic for the next hour. Yeah, we should probably do before we go. Uh, well, we took it back. It might not be that bad because we can get into the uh, HOV line. Yeah, plus and it was an accident on the way out here. It shouldn't be that bad on the way home. Zuri's about to ask him to stop for this cupcake. Oh, yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this. What's up, Zuri? Never mind. No, don't say never mind. What you want? I was going to say um, that um, when I was, when I buckle up, I can get my cupcake. I know. Are you buckled up? Yeah. No, she buckled up before I pulled off. You know, she better have it again. I am buckled up. So, real quick, Missouri picked the Sprinkles cupcake. Have y'all ever been to Sprinkles? Um, out here in Houston, they have the Sprinkles ATM. There's a couple of other ones. I can't remember. I know Vegas used to have one. I don't know if they still do. Cute little photo shoot spot out here in Uptown. And then I'm going to show this because we're driving, but... Um, and I had actually touched my glue, kind of jumped out of the thing, but I got a red velvet. If you know, you know the infamous little dot thing. Hey, Here, dang, girl. 
Alright, so we'll see you guys in the next video.